and they all lived happily ever after. The end. That story was a good one. Good night, Ethan. Good night. Wait. Yeah? Can you stay a little longer? You need to get some sleep. I know. What's going on, Ethan? The book made me kind of nervous, and now I'm thinking of things I'm afraid of. What kind of things? Well, let's see. There's airplanes, bees, COVID-19 dogs, invertebrates, judgment, knives, lice, mice, nighttime, poison, questions, roller coasters, spiders, teasing, under my bed, violence, worms, x-rays, yellow fever, and zoom. Did you just list your fears in alphabetical order? Whoa. Yeah. So how do I feel better? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, maybe a story could help. Another story? A different story. It's a story I like to remember when I'm worried or scared. You get scared? I sure do. Everybody gets scared sometimes, and this story, God's big story, is full of people who are afraid sometimes. You mean the Bible? You got it. You know what? I think we can have one more story tonight. Yay! Now, this part of God's story is during a time when many people were scared. Afraid of many things, just like us. It all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Hey, Hi. favored one! Oh, pardon me, sorry, let me start over. Hey, favored one, God is with you! I don't think I've had that greeting before. Well, there's something I need to tell you. It's really exciting, but, um, what was it again? Uh, let me just check. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And so, you're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. But how is this even possible? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, the mo and the Most High will overshadow you. So, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Oh, also your relative Elizabeth is having, going to have a baby. Even though people thought it would be impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Mm, was all of that a question? Oh. Um, well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Uh, yes? Here I am, a, so, a lowly servant of the Lord. But let it be with your recorded message. Oh, phew. Okay, that's good. Mm. Bye. I need to go see Elizabeth. You were so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb, also blessed. The moment I heard your voice, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. Here, feel it. Elizabeth, I feel like I'm bursting with good news. God chose me, a lowly commandant, of Nazareth to be the most blessed woman on earth. What God, what God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the rich off their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
Um, so, uh, by the way, mm, can I stay with you for a few months? Mary is pregnant? How? I don't understand. We aren't even married yet. The law clearly states that that is not good. Not good at all. She claims that the child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. That's her explanation. The only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation at least. Ugh. But she'll be disgraced. Oh, Mary, I don't know what to do. I'm so afraid. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. So everything's cool, everything's fine. Just take a breath. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. God saves, because he'll save his people from their sin. <sighs> Mary, no. Huh? Whoa, I need to marry Mary. I get to marry Mary. I'm going to have a baby, a baby, and we'll name him Jesus. And I'm going to be a dad. Oh, wow, I'm going to be a dad. I got to start packing. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and saviour, good shepherd, light, way, and prince of peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say, you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you, and you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family as a sign of appreciation for my awesomeness. This is going to be the best registration anyone's ever done. You're going to love it. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Caesar Augustus, out. Well, I've got some good news. What is it? Well, I finally found a place to stay. Finally. Uh, it's with my third cousin. Great. Wonderful. Just, you can't just have some because this baby's not going to wait much longer. Our uh, room, um, right. Well... Do what? Do we not have our own room? Um, well, uh, we have a Space? Very nice little space. Do we or don't we? Um, well, it's a very private little space. Um, with loads of pets. Pets? And maybe a few animals?
Glory to God in the highest. Do not be afraid. <clears throat> Glory to God. Glory to God. Is this thing even working? Are you people even listening? I said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Good news for all people. The Messiah is born, a Savior. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace among those whom God favor. Good gravy, said. You all saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Ba. Yep, that happened. Ba. You want to get into town to check it out? Probably better. Do we bring the sheep? Probably better. Ba. Ba. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 please. Don't take us with you. Ba. Ba. Did anyone catch the directions? It said something about signs. Oof, can't read through my mind. It's too blown. A baby mm -hmm. wrapped in six of cloth, lying in a manger. But, but please don't take us though. I can remember that. Let's go. You two sheep, come on. Good gravy, said. You all saw that, right? Yep, a bona fide mi miracle. It was exactly how the angels described it. To a T, and I've seen some babies, but that baby? Sheesh. I don't know about you, but it feels to me like the world is changing. Why do you think we got to see it first? We're all such a bunch of poor shepherds. I have no idea, but that baby's mom, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for us. I think that baby is here to lift up the lowly. And bring down the rich and powerful. Wouldn't that be something? Sure would. Hey, you see that? The star. Was that the last one? I can't say I've ever seen that one before. I, it, it'd be hard to miss. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up, up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our observatory. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we see it. Immediately. And we just noticed the new star. Very rare occurrence. Doesn't happen. But we have found compelling records that have led us to believe that this new star, the brightest star in the galaxy, is a sign of a newly born king. A holy cosmic king. Whom we must find. To honor. And worship. We now begin our journey. Mm -hmm.
we there yet? <laughs> you literally just asked that. Now? <sighs> Little brothers, am I right? <laughs> oh yes, yes, it looks like we're here. Bit for him, let's look up the local king. He'll be happy to help. Especially after he hears the big news. <laughs> cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They all say I'm the most powerful, smart, and good-looking king Bethlehem has ever seen. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am a 34. Uh, yes. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Yes, we're looking for the newly born king. What king is this? The child. Ki born king of the Jews. We have, um, we, we have deserve the star it's rising. And we have come to worship and honor him. Hmm. Yes, wonderful. Would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Put me through to my smart people. Be quick about it. Hello? Yes, this is your king. The very best king. I need to know, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bethlehem. Are you sure? Mm. Uh. Hello again, wise folks. So, uh, yeah, this is just super. Go on and find this child and pay him honor. And get back to me about this right away so that I too can honor him. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure, we can do that. Let's get out of here. When we left that awful King Herod, we had a bad feeling about him. That he was up to no good. He seemed scared, threatened, angry. And definitely not excited for the new king. But we still were. Absolutely. We went on and found the new king. Whose name was Jesus. And brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold. Frankincense. Even more. Fancy gifts, usually given to royal people. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on. We sure knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. And we didn't return to that King Herod. Nope, no way. Our concerns were confirmed. We were, we were warned in a dream to take a different way home. <laughs> you might say we took the scenic route. And returned to watching the stars. Those wise people were really brave, giving the baby gifts and then sneaking home without telling King Herod where they was. Yes, they were brave and determined. Everyone in the story was, I think. From Mary and Joseph and the shepherds to the Magi, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Ethan... Are you feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story is coming to an end. <sighs> yes, I feel safe and sleepy, but this really isn't the end. It needs to be. You have to get some sleep. <clears throat> I mean the story, that's just the beginning. Jesus is born, he grows up, he changes water to wine, he teaches, he heals, he flips tables, he... Yes, yes, you're right. Jesus birth is just a beginning. We have a lot to talk about, but it's late. Tonight, let's focus on this one special moment, this one night that brought us Jesus. Okay, it's a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day, and in the end, all things will be made right. 
hopeful that doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way. But we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. Speaking of the final word, let's have a final word from Mary, the mother of Jesus. Whoa. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For you, God, have looked with favour on the loneliness of your servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generations to generations. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy according to the promises that you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their descendants forever. The end.